美国的纳巴侯族，目前正在发生的大新闻就是纳巴侯民族在保留区自己成立的纳巴侯最高法院判定，每四年原本要选一次的纳巴侯保留区的总理，也就是总领导人的选举，原定十一月四号要举行，但是现在决定要延后举行，理由就是因为这一位候选人，他的名字叫做 Chris。d i s c h i n 他被人选举说他根本不会说流利的纳巴侯族语，但竟然还想要来参选当纳巴侯族的领导人。这可以说是自从一九九一年二三年以来，纳巴侯族第一次发生这样的情况。因为如果根据纳巴侯内部自行制定的规定，想要当领导人的话，想要带领自己的族人改革的话。就必须要会讲足语，而且不是要会讲而已，而且是要很流利。但是到底什么样的程度叫做很流利呢？现在当然引起讨论。原住民族的语言不断的流失，在美国纳巴侯族也流失的速度是相对比较慢的。例如现在全国三十万名的纳巴侯族人被统计出来，大约还有二分之一的人还会讲自己的足语。但是语言流失是不真的事实。纳巴后最高法院认定，要带领候选人这个族人的候选人，一定要会讲流利的族语，所以要求选委会重印选票，必须剔除这一名被检举说不会讲流利族语的候选人的名字，不准他来参选。结果引起轩然大波。这位候选人当然也为自己辩护，拒绝这种针对性、史无前例的针对总理候选人的。足语能力测验。Big news in the election of a new Navajo Nation president. The election will now be postponed. This comes after questions surrounding how fluent one candidate is in the Navajo language. 就在十月二十三号，美国纳巴侯族创设的最高法院宣布，纳巴侯民族总理的选举必须要延后，并且必须在选票上移除其中一位候选人 Chris Dischin 的名字。认为这位候选人不得参选，因为有对手检举这位候选人无法说。流利的纳巴侯族语，检举者包括这位也想竞选纳巴侯总理的 Hank White Thong， 还有这位 Dale s o u s i 这两人参加今年八月的总理初选落败，表示这一位在初选中排名第二名，而且有机会参选，并且赢得最后选举的候选人，根本无法说流利的纳巴侯族语，无法代表纳巴侯族人。认为根据当前的部落公约，想要发表意见、领导部落的人，必须要有说流利族语的能力。认为这位候选人在参选报名表上说自己符合自。资格根本就是欺骗选举委员会。九月初，两个人向纳巴侯法院跟选委会提出抗议。十月八号，选委会做出决议，撤销 Chris d i s c h i n 的参选资格。不过，遭到除名的 d i s c h i n 相当不服。就在民族议会确认将他除名之后的第二天，最高法院举行了这场听证会。That has somehow convinced you and the larger body, the Supreme Court, to say that we are going to administer a test that has never been given before in the entire history and universe of the Navajo Nation. So I protest and I object to your questioning. Can you describe in the Navajo Nation government? In the Navajo language, using the Navajo language, without inserting English languages anywhere in there, can you describe to me how a resolution becomes law? It's a yes or no question. 
can you describe to me? Mr. Chair, I, we deserve a substantive answer. Everybody keeps talking about our burden of proof. Mr. Deschini seems to think that he could just refuse to answer all our questions and then say we haven't met our burden of proof at the end. We deserve a substantive answer. He's asking in English, can you, do you have the ability to say it, yes or no? Mr. Deschini knows the answer in his head to that question. He either can say it or he can't. Say yes or no. He can't even say it in English. But we deserve an answer to the question. And, and, and we're not going to go on to another question until we get an answer, yes or no. 原告律师咄咄逼人，不过这位被指控不会说流利祖语的候选人也技巧性的拒绝回答。Is a result of Mr. Justin Jones and Mr. Whiteburn. It is their test. The court has also stated that day we were in Tuba City. We will accept Mr. Whiteburn's standard. He is not an expert. He is a 15th place loser. So I respectfully decline to put myself in front of. The whole world to answer a test that has not been vetted, not has been approved, not has been tested, that has not been standardized, and moreover, not been applied to other elected officials. If we were to apply the test that they want to have, it should incorporate the vetting process, Your Honor. 这位候选人拒绝接受主语考试，并且说这种考试要求根本就不合法。不过，议会的干部因此认定候选人没有依照要求接受主语考试，所以无法取得语言能力证明，因此认定不符资格。纳巴侯民族最高法院也判定这位候选人不得参加选举，选票必须要移除这位候选人的名字，并且由当时初选排名第三名的人递补。不过，由于选票已经寄出去，尤其不在籍投票已经开始进行。截至十月三十一号为止，所有目前在海外或保留区以外的选票都将寄回纳巴后保留区。进行到一半的选举，怎么可以说停就停？并且，选委会认为每个人都有参选跟投票的权利，这才是民主的真谛。现行的纳巴后选委会认为，必须删除语言限制，让年轻。一代的候选人可以参加选举。It's the people who will decide. If one person is not pretty good in Navajo language, then they have the option of selecting the person who does. It's better to have the people decide who the leader is going to be. 让自己的族人用自己的选票来决定自己需要什么样的领导人，是目前选委会的立场。呃、uh, ，as far as the language, Navajo language, to say that we're going to get away from our language, that's not true. The Navajo language is still strong. We have elderlies. We have young people that are learning and talking Navajo language. So we, the board doesn't have no concern in that. It's there. We would rather have the people decide through voting, through the voting process, to select the leader of their choice. 显然，在这一次，纳巴侯民族最高法院站在族语优先的立场，要求纳巴侯族人要选出会讲族语的总理。不过，也引起纳巴侯社群内部激烈的讨论，官司还在打，还没结束。记者 Glass Gulus Galos 整理报道。